Fresh from my adventures in Oxfordshire, I'm cycling into London, where there is a huge variety of independent food producers, both large and small, tucked away in the most unlikely of places. So, Bill, most people expect a cheesemaker to be in the countryside. You're in a railway arch in central London. How did that happen? Yeah, well, it wasn't my first choice. I guess the first choice was to do it in the countryside. And it sort of evolved and turned out that I, I ended up here in, in South London, near Tower Bridge. As an urban cheesemaker, what were the challenges of actually setting up a dairy in a big city? The first problem was uh, locating a milk supplier, so that close enough to accommodate the way I make the cheese, which is as fresh as possible and the minimal handling. Another big problem is the whey disposal, which isn't a problem if you're on a farm. Mm -hmm. You could feed it to pigs or compost it or put it in mm -hmm. slurry, but in London, I, you can't put it on the drain. No. The location is good, so I'm close to customers in central London. Also, the temperature is pretty steady, so that's very good for the maturation of the cheese. It's not too hot in the summer, it's not too cold in the winter. So this is literally like an urban uh, cheese cellar? Yeah. This is the cheese room. Lock me away in here and throw away the key. Tell me about a typical day at the dairy. So I get to the farm at about 5.30 a.m. and it uh, takes an hour to get the milk in the churns and then about a couple of hours to get them here into the cheese room. Half an hour of stirring, scalding and then by about 10 o'clock the curds are out and in the press. Wow, so it's quite a, quite a fast process. Yeah, it's a mountain cheese, so it's, it's different from the traditional British cheese, okay. which takes three or four hours before it's in the press. So you're famous for your Bermondsey hard press? Yeah, that's my principal cheese. That's, I was inspired by the uh, Alpine cheeses. And, and why did you choose like a, a, a mountain cheese? Uh, I worked there, the simplicity of the equipment and the speed of the make. Ah. Okay, and also the flavour of um, when it's 12 months old, it tastes amazing. Yeah. I've had a beautiful day with Bill and his Bermondsey hard pressed. It doesn't matter whether it comes from the countryside or the railway arches, it's all about delicious cheese. Betsy and I take our leave, heading further east to discover more gastronomic delights. <laughs>